We all remember Furbies, right? Where it was those creepy big-eyed dolls that would just kind of randomly talk at you, and then when you put them together, they would talk to each other. Ha! Ah, that's just it, wrong on so many different levels, right? Well, Hulu and Bloomhouse have teamed up to bring Into the Dark. It's a horror anthology where each month they present a new horror film. And so for December of 2018, there's Puka. Oof, should you watch it? Because the other two have been so-so. So this Christmas episode of Into the Dark is Puka. And basically what it is, is there is an out of work actor who takes a gig as a, he dresses up in this costume of this giant doll. And this doll is just flying off the shelves at Christmas time. It is the must have toy of the year. And it's called Puka. And the whole premise though is it will repeat you, but you don't know if it's going to be nice or naughty when it does it. And it's just completely random. So it's very kind of unsettling in the concept of this. And then the toy itself has these giant eyes and it just, I don't know, it looks like some, some weird little animal that could probably eat you in your sleep. This film has the creep factor going for it and I applaud it because it did it really well, that it really amped up the creepiness of this. Now, not so much of a horror type, but just really that you are unsettled and you're kind of disturbed. And some of the imagery is just, it's wild and it's weird. And the way that they use some of the camera shots and they, they play with the colors and just even the music and the soundtrack, you're like, oh gosh. And then to top it all off, is the dude hallucinating? Is he just breaking from reality? Or is this costume or this doll possessed? Because you don't know, and it's viable option on any of them. This thriller kept me involved the entire time. I mean, I was on the edge of my seat, I was unsettled, and not just because of how the doll looked, but because of the performances and the way that the story was told. Now, at the end, at the climax of the film, it did remind me heavily of another film. I'm not gonna give that away because they totally, I mean, it, it ruins the entire film then if you, if I tell you what it is now. But just to say, it, it really does borrow heavily from a feature film that was in the theaters. So if you're watching these reviews in order, this is the strongest entry into the End of the Dark series. The, the first two are just kind of okay. Actually, the first one's pretty bad. The second one is getting, they're improving. This one though, really good. I enjoyed Puka a lot. There is some sex, there's no nudity, there is violence, and there is profanity. I give it three and a half out of five couches. So are you watching the series? What's your favorite so far? I'd love to know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.